Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about my journey throughout CRNA school. So today's video is gonna be kind of going into detail on the features of the Prodigy Anesthesia website. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So I've mentioned in several of my videos that I feel like a game changer for me was getting um, or paying for the subscription for Prodigy Anesthesia. It's, um, it's like a simulated test question site like where it has board style type questions but they have a lot of features where you can target it to what you're studying at the moment i didn't think it would benefit me now because i'm not going to be taking my boards until december until after december 2024 after the end of my third year so i thought it's not worth it for me to invest in i think it's i think they sell either two years or four years a subscription I'll double check that but uh, we'll do it together when we go onto their website but um, I didn't think it was beneficial for me to get it now since I'm not even close to boards yet so or, or even thinking about studying for them at this moment since I'm just trying to take my exams for the classes that I'm taking right now next semester might be a little bit of a different story because I have to take a board style uh, test in order to get to the clinical portion and I believe in the Prodigy Anesthesia they have board style simulation exams. When I play with the website, um, like I'll, I'll show you as I'm going along, you know, the features that it has because I'm not there yet. I haven't quite gotten to all of the features of the actual website but what has benefited me a lot is using the exams based on the textbook chapters and based on the subjects. So let's say um, for this exam coming up, I'll have four chapters from this one textbook, three cha chapters from this other textbook. I can literally pick those chapters and it makes targeted questions based on the important points in the chapter. So let's say you don't actually get the opportunity to read the chapter. I find it so beneficial for me to take those questions because then I actually learn from the rationales. So for me, I feel like the reason I've been doing so much better in my exams is because of that feature. And I just feel like if I would have gotten this website like or paid for the subscription early on, maybe in semester one, you know, I might not have been struggling as much, but I really do appreciate it. And I've noticed that some of my professors take questions from Prodigy and they kind of maybe maybe word it just a little differently or even take the question itself from Prodigy. So it's nice that I've actually been um, exposed to those questions prior to the exam. So when I take the exam, I know the answer. Like I know it because I've taken it a hundred times. So I know that answer and I know that question, I got it right. So for me, I personally feel like this was an absolute game changer. I really wish I would have um, paid for the subscription early on. It's a bit pricey. So that's why I was a little hesitant on getting the subscription right away, but I really feel like it's essential. Like if you're about to start CRNA school, considering CRNA school or whatnot, budget that in because it is life-changing. I personally feel like everyone should get it. Like they should have you get it in the beginning, but I can see why a school would be a little less um, outward about using it since they do sometimes take questions from there, but absolutely, absolutely, absolutely get that subscription. That and Apex Anesthesia, I'm gonna do a separate video on Apex, but um, as far as test style and like test practice, like actual board style, because the thing is too, the interface apparently looks similar to the boards. So then when you take your boards, you're familiar with how it looks because you've been actually using that same interface for all these exams. So I personally feel like it's a win-win for me and I'm really, really grateful that I got it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, thinking I should have planned ahead with that. That way I could have budgeted, budgeted it into, you know, my tuition expenses, but that honestly is, is essential. So if you're thinking of starting school and how to manage your budget and finances, definitely put that in there because it is definitely a game changer and you will thank yourself for that. Anyways, enough about me blabbing. I'm gonna go now over to the iPad and I'm gonna do a screen share. That way you can see what I'm looking at and you can see somewhat what the interface looks like that way, because I don't think you can get to it unless you have a subscription, but if you're not familiar with it and you're not on the fence about it, maybe this might help you make your decision. So I'm gonna go over there and then I'll come back. 
All right, now I'm gonna go over to the iPad so you can see what the actual website looks like. So right here, I'm at the homepage for prodigyanesthesia.com. I really wanted to go onto this homepage for you to see the pricing options that they have for um, the subscriptions. So I'm gonna go to buy now. There's two options that are based on like CRNA recertifications and then there's three options for SRNAs. So I thought it would be interesting to look at the pricing for each. So not the first two, but the last three, there's a Prodigy Connect for SRNAs for two years, and then there's a four-year subscription and a one-year subscription. The two-year subscription is $315. The four-year subscription is $500. And the one-year subscription is $175. So obviously doing the math, you can see that the four-year subscription is gonna be your best option because you're having the most savings, but it's the most expensive, obviously. But it's just... To me, I don't think the four-year subscription was beneficial because at the point that I would that I signed up for it, I was about halfway through semester two, and I wasn't gonna need it past when I actually took my boards. I mean, maybe I could use it afterwards, but I don't really see myself doing that. Um, my my program is scheduled to end December 2024, so I would predict, you know, based on how how long it takes to get access to take your test, I would say no later than May so I don't think a four-year subscription would have worked for me so the reason why I'm, I'm mentioning that is that you'd have to really do a timeline of when you think you're going to be needing this the most I feel like my program is front-loaded and if I would have gotten this subscription earlier on I would have preferred it but anyway so let's say the first half of your program is uh, classroom work, maybe it's better just to get a one-year subscription now and then a one-year subscription later when you're gonna take your boards. I'm not sure, whatever, it is it is expensive and that's something you really have to consider. And if you haven't gotten to the point that you're in school and you're starting to plan for it, try to budget this in. Honestly, I feel like this is really important. Now, that being said, we're gonna go into what the website look like looks like i want to mention that you are going to be spending a lot of money for this website and there are a few qualms that i have with it but they're not enough for me to not want this website subscription because there are a few like like i don't know if maybe it's the way that i no i don't know because when i go onto my computer it's a little weird to use like I can't scroll sometimes through to pick the right chapters or like if I'm scrolling through the chapter it kind of like it will freeze and it won't let me um, keep scrolling or if I pick a chapter it'll say that I picked a chapter that I didn't so it's like it's a little weird I feel like I'm having a little better luck on the iPad than I am on the desktop and another thing I'm noticing is if I'm taking too long on a question and then you know I click the answer and go next sometimes it'll time out so then it's like that whole exam that you worked on, it doesn't even count. So it's it, it. There are a few things that I feel like that could that could be tweaked. Hopefully by the time if you need it, it'll be fixed. But um, yeah, I said what I said. Now let me go into my actual Prodigy. I'm gonna log in, and then I'm gonna hit desktop login, and this is what the main page looks like. So. There are a lot of things that I haven't quite played with and I don't know if I will. <laughs> I, I know what I need this for and it's giving me the benefits that I feel are essential for me at this moment. Um, like these anesthesia flashcards on the bottom, I haven't even, haven't even dealt with that. I don't know if maybe that will help me more toward boards, but right now what I need is what's gonna help me for the exams that I have coming up and they're based on textbook chapters that this website has. So that's the features that I'm using right now. Maybe while I'm starting studying for boards, I'll do a separate video on what I'm using to study then. But right now, this is what I'm using and it's really helping me. And the, like, I don't know, it's just essential. Now, this masterclass and video tutorials, I believe are on how to use this website. I haven't quite played with that either, but I said what I said, you need this, okay? Run don't walk okay so I'm gonna go into detail what I feel is something that you need to know so practice exams as you see there's a lot of features that you can use here there's board simulation type exams and if you notice there's a bunch there's 25 then they have a C simulation exam and it's 240 questions and I mean it seems like there's only one but hey that will help 
Then they have questions based on category, specific topic, and then you have the questions by MBCRNA heading, so they have an outline for the exam, and these questions are based on what are, should be covered. Then they have like question styles, so you can do um, you know, the drag and drop, image based, hot spot questions, multiple correct answers. Those are all going to be something you'd see on the board. So it's kind of cool to practice that style of question. You know, if you don't like it or you're not very familiar with how to use it, it's a good feature. But anyway, now what I want to go into detail with is exam based on textbook chapter and questions based on specific topic. So first things first, exams based on textbook chapter. So you can pick your textbook. Um, this one has four different textbooks. We have here the Nagel uh, Nurse Anesthesia book. You have the Clinical Anesthesia by Barish, and then you also have the Coexisting Diseases book um, from Stoltings and the Pharmacy, the Pharmacology from Stoltings as well. So those are four essential textbooks in your CRNA school curriculum. So that's really, really, really beneficial. I would hope in the future there are other textbooks they can incorporate into this website. But for now, this is what's what they have and it's working. So I'm going to pick Nagelhout. And then you see here the way that they have it. And it's based on the edition, by the way. The way that they have it is based on the chapter. So let's say for for your class, they cover Nagelhout chapter 53 through 56. So then you can literally go through that and pick those chapters, 53, 54, 55, 56, and do an exam based on that. So for, for me, I just feel like it's really cool. Like watch, when I hit begin exam, you'll see there's 53 questions from these four chapters that I put. And you will have the opportunity to read the question and answer them. And I'm just gonna pick a, I didn't even read the question, okay? And then you hit next, and it will tell you you're wrong, so you're, that you picked B. But the answer is A, and this is why. The pediatric dose, blah, 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 blah. So, and then it tells you where in the textbook this question came from. So I personally like that. The rationales are really helpful. And it's just, yeah. So this actual interface, I believe, is similar to what the board, the boards look like. So just so you know. So let's go to the next question. So this is another question. This one is a multiple select answer, and it'll tell you, okay, select two. I'm not, I'm not reading this question, and you put two okay so I picked the right two and then it'll give you the rationale and it'll tell you where it came from so for me this is absolutely absolutely essential so for what I've noticed is that let's say I didn't even get to read the chapter this is helping me study so I like it all right now let's get back let's get out here quit can I quit no <laughs> um all right let's go back oh I left I completely left that was my bad and in order to get to your like login without having to go through the homepage, you can go to prodigyconnect.net and then sign in again. I don't know what happened. I want to go over the topic so that you can see that as well. So practice exams uh, based on specific topic. And then you see here it has all the possible co coexisting diseases, uh, different drugs. It's, it's really awesome. So let's say you covered hepatic or hepatobiliary and like, I don't know, you can just literally go to hepatic failure and just go from there. Or let's say you covered neuro and hydrocephalus, you can go there and it'll cover, it'll give you questions based on that specific subject. And it's, it's kind of narrower now because it's just based on one specific topic versus the whole chapter but you can cover the chapter and then you can cover the topic so that will cover this covers all the textbooks so the subject will cover all the textbooks that mention this this material for instance like if it's in pharmacology hydrocephalus it'll be there and then you t you know the question will be based on the subject so i like that because that gives you a broader horizon and like you can really look into I don't know what what um details you can go. I'm not I'm not even reading. I just want to get to the end so you can see what it looks like when you've taken the test um afterwards. So, sorry. This only has 5. I didn't even read that. Okay, so you're going to view results and you see I've taken <laughs> I've taken a lot of these simulations. So like Based on what tests I have coming up and what chapters are covered, I usually try to cover 
all of those things. So then here I've covered like all the chapters that, that were assigned for that specific exam and then I did it based on the subject. And I, I'm telling you, it's amazing. And then it goes into it goes into detail, like the question, the answer, and the rationale. Um, so you can see the blueprint of what you did. So I, I said what I said. I feel like you need this. It's it's absolutely clutch, essential, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. And I'm sure that with more things, you'll you'll be able to play with this website. And whatnot but I use it when it's crunch crunch time so I literally go in uh, the day before an exam and I do a bunch of these or I'll start like weeks before I'll do a bunch of them so I have an understanding of what it is and then like I'll do maybe a, every every day I'll do uh, one round of questions just so I'm familiar with the subject again right before I get into studying I love this absolutely 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 love this and I feel like my grades have reflected that so if you're on the fence about it don't get it you definitely need to get it not don't get it like don't be on the fence go get it <laughs> all right i'm gonna go back to my outro now. so yeah that's pretty much it i i think i went over the basic features that i've been using i haven't I, like i said i haven't really been going into detail on the board style questions because i'm not there yet i don't think i want to broaden the question base when i'm really focusing on a, a specific topic so you know, when I get there, it might be a little different. I might do a separate video on board prepping and whatnot. But as far as right now, the exams by textbook chapter and exams by subject have really been spot on for me and I'm grateful for it. But yeah, that's all I really have to say for this um, website. If you guys are interested, I suggest you get it. Like if you're like, mm, should I get it, should I not? Get it, <laughs> run, don't walk, get it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.